was a drug made for me to host me, make her cry at some beat. She was the fastest job out there, she could take me about anywhere. having a little uh, swim on um, Digby Island, a uh, little walk for Tipsy. Uh, there was a good uh, 15 knot breeze this morning, but I think I missed that. Uh, and then I got a lazy, I don't know, an hour with the jib, uh, fluttering at 6-7 knots. And then Another, another uh, two hours with uh, the fractional kite uh, until the wind died on me. So I uh, did a kite swap and I uh, decided to hoist the main, uh, the main big bag. Um, Autopilot being a jerk. Now we're doing a Seven knots, eight knots with uh, the big bag. So it is here. Big purple kite, beautiful. That's it. And uh, the water is a uh, the water is a uh, with uh, uh, color too now. So if I go at the bar, it's pretty amazing. Uh, it's got that tinge. You can see, you can see my uh, my fractional kite that I didn't pack up yet. I swept them over pretty easily, and then uh, if I go at the front, you can see the color of the water um, with the with the purple. Just amazingly beautiful. So yeah, that's uh, that's us sailing um, today. Seven knots of breeze, sitting on seven knots. And uh, should be a Scofell tonight, hopefully. Uh, I can see Scofell from here. I think I'm, uh, I'm still 30 miles, so... Pretty slow trip today. Um, yeah, I'm getting a bit bold. I'm not used to do like five, six knots. Uh, it's a bit it's relaxing, I guess, but a bit weird. Hasta la vista. Yeah, so another dream day uh, before I was uh, answering the kite, uh, surfing on 10 and 12s, my big masthead. Um, just I got the word like 10 years ago I was uh, brewing hobby cats uh, in Cambodia and just doing day sailing in with location like little sailing catamaran. Um, yeah, I've, I've been renting like multi old from sail, sailing clubs and stuff, and now like um, just handling my own multi, my own racing try and and seeing the kite, it's, it's fantastic. So, yeah, I'm um, really loving that day. Uh, we are not far from Stoffel now. Should be arriving for 5 p.m. So looking good. Hasta la vista. Hi, it's Anna. Um, yeah, I left uh, Scofield Island this morning, and uh, there wasn't much breeze, so I put up the masthead kite for a run with that for a little bit, and then uh, there's a bit of breeze more, so almost beam rich so I put up the main and then the breeze died um, oh went more east so I put pack up the masthead kite put up the screecher and then the breeze died 
and I'm motor for like three hours and there's like four or five knots of breeze right now dead downwind so I put the masthead kite again on its own um, here it is uh, we're doing uh, 3.64 knots uh, I'm um, north of Goldsmith Island it's here to early beach at midnight so I'm gonna miss the afternoon drink with the friends I'm hoping the wind's gonna go more east the tide should be turning about in half an hour should help me through with Sunday Passage but if I don't make it I'll just stop at Shore Island um, yeah weather is overcast um, the harbour refuse to start at some stage I still have an issue with the contact for the power which pushed me to go at the stern to sort it which is on the cell is a bit dangerous um, so I have to sort that what else I almost died I choked myself with clarin I couldn't breathe for like 30 seconds like I never had that before like it's not choking like when you choke yourself you know and your friend have you know like it's like I couldn't breathe I couldn't get any air at all for 30 seconds I had to put my head upside down, I had to relax, and eventually I got some air through. Tipsy was worried, but yeah, um, that would have been stupid. Um, you would have just found my boat in one of the islands with a dead sailor inside. Maybe Tipsy eating my remains. Um, that would be scary. So, stupid accident. Uh, that's a reality when uh, when you're sailing on your own. Um, the food crossed my mind that oh that would be so stupid, so bad. Um, yeah, I I can't describe that feeling like where we're like oh I can't breathe <laughs> like wait like there's no air. I was already thinking okay am I going on an aphectic shock? Do I need to go get the EP pen and get myself a shot on acetylene? Like what? what's going on like I just try to relax I gasp like I swallow I don't know I did some weird thing uh, it's almost like the membrane was stuck inside or like the airway had shut itself on it because the uh, tarin is I guess um, I don't know some salt and spices and desiccated lemon I don't know but it felt like I glued my, my lung shut and um, yeah, it's a weird feeling. A weird feeling to be dying at three knots on the hardboard. And um, well, anyway, I'm still alive. Not in early yet. Um, plenty of island passing through. Yeah, I just want some breeze, like everyone else. There's nothing more sad than seeing a. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful masthead cat collapsing for lack of air. It's very, very sad. But at the moment, it's holding there, so I'm picking your speed, doing 4.5. Um, yeah, fuel situation. Um, I'm on my last tank, 25 liters in a bit, so I would have just enough to motor too early. Um, I still don't have signal. So I don't know what the weather's doing. Um, it's supposed to stay, yeah, 10 knots, to say easterly, but it's wrong. Um, I'm hoping to pick up Sino pretty soon. Yeah, that'd be good. So that's it. That's me today. Hasta la vista. Uh, last night too early, um, when we sent the passage sailing on the screecher uh, against the tide, big tide, as uh, 8 knots of breeze, I'm doing uh, 5 to 6 knots. Um, yeah, it's fun. I'm still playing catching the Vinny. I think I'm gonna catch him today. Uh, I want to arrive at early before he does. So, yeah, beautiful day. Uh, if you can see, his islands everywhere. And uh, yeah, these 
Hamilton Island just there and yeah it is beautiful it is beautiful with Sundays are beautiful so yeah um pretty keen to be early have a shower have a burger have a beer I don't know in which order wash my clothes uh, wash my boat, get some fuel, get some water, uh, almost one out of food. Um, I think it's about over a month that I left uh, seven, um, when I said and I didn't have much supply anyway. I didn't resupply, I did a big supply. I just bought a couple of things in when I said. So uh, yeah, I got some food in Percy, which was great. Um, but otherwise, been pretty much uh, starting myself, um, doing a lot of exercise and a lot of sunshine, which is great. And uh, water-wise, I think I got my last 20-30 liters. Um, I bought only carry 120, and I gave 10 to Ben. So yeah, I'm good in water consumption. I think um, very good. But I think I can last four or five weeks. And um, yeah. Pretty happy and I don't know, it's kind of starting to do it on me. Like, I said from Brisbane to Early Beach, single ended on my racing trauma. It's weird, and it, was, it was easy, but it's cool. Like, 11 years ago, I was in Early Beach, and I, yeah, I don't care, I don't care. I'm on selling at all, and windsurfing since a young age, but. Never you, and um, now I'm with my own boat, and it's beautiful. It's the most beautiful boat in the world, and she sell like an albatross, and yeah, extension of my consciousness. So it's amazing. Anyway, as I say, we meet you all everywhere you go. Always take the weather with you, which what I've done on that trip. So. Um, I'll talk to you later when I arrive. Hasta la vista! Sarah, sitting against the current, doing so well. Look at that. Doing so, so well. Jeez!